Hello, today we're going to be looking at a website, vocabulary.com, which is a top website recommended by librarians because of its um, very unique, differentiated instruction approach to vocabulary learning. So um, this is the home page. When you go to vocabulary.com, this is what you'll see. Um, here at the top, you'll see the, the, the main tabs. You can sign up here, or if you scroll down to the bottom, you can get a gist of how it works and you can go ahead and sign up here also with this button if you continue scrolling here at the left you'll see um, different topics of vocabulary lists that have already been created and you'll see here you have SAT words words with literature morphology and roots you have historical documents speeches just for fun and news on the right side, you're going to be seeing uh, the blog topics that are most current for the website. Okay, so again, um, how it works here is just a four step, I mean, a four point uh, description of how the website works. You can start by answering a few questions, and as you are answering the questions, it builds a model to help you master the words. It'll predict which vocabulary words you don't know, and it'll figure out how to teach them to you. And then um, lastly, you can learn these useful words to improve your vocabulary and you can also create a vocabulary list from the words that you are learning. So once you sign up, once you create an account which asks you for a basic email address and a password, when you sign up and you log in, you're going to see your name here at the top, your screen name. Okay, as you can see here next to your screen name, you can check your progress, you can check your account, and uh, a way for you to sign out if you're going to be using a public computer. Okay, so um, again, you have the four main tabs at the top. You have home, how it works, the leaderboards, blog, and help. We'll talk about each one of those in this tutorial. So um, if you see here in the middle, you have a vocabulary word, so you can just jump right in and you can start to figure out or answer answer the questions, answer what does refrigerator mean and as you're answering it'll accumulate points and the computer or the program will start to recognize your level of vocabulary and it'll begin to give you words that are meant to challenge you. Okay, so let's say for example refrigerator means an appliance in which food can be stored. Nice job. Then you can go on to the next question. Okay, envelope. Let's see here. Um, if you happen to get one wrong, it'll give you a chance to uh, take a second guess. So then if you click on the correct answer, on the right you'll see a quick definition and some background information about the word envelope. You can look it up with the dictionary here. Okay. You can listen to the word envelope. Or you can add it to your word list, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So again, as you're moving through the words, it'll um, it'll give you chances to get them correct, and then it'll give you some background information for you to master those words. Okay, all right. So um, let's continue on now. If you go back to how it works at the top, again you'll have the 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 uh, four points of how the system works that was mentioned in the in the home page, and here at the bottom you'll get more details as far as how each one works. Okay, so like we mentioned, you have the multiple choice questions and the website claims that it is like a personal trainer for your brain. Okay, it does come up with a personalized list of words just for you, again, based on the words that you do know. It does gauge your ability and your vocabulary level and it continues to challenge you based on your level, which makes it differentiated. Um, it offers hints and explanations to help you out if you ever get stuck. And what I like here is that it gives you a path to mastery. It gives you a visual on your progress. So it'll tell you which words were correct and which words you're mastering. Okay, you can earn points and achievements. You can also see your progress with the bar with the charts here, the bar graph, um, and it'll tell you which words you've mastered again. And um, and what I like about these uh, words is that as you're continuing to practice the words, um, it'll continue to, as you're mastering them, it'll continue to give them to you so that way you don't forget what the words are. Okay, so that's part of the progress here, char charting your progress. It'll 
remind you on some words that maybe you had studied a few weeks back and it'll bring them back to you so that way you're staying fresh and current with all the vocabulary you're learning okay so again that's just more detailed information on how the system works um, if you look at the leaderboards this is very interesting because you can get your school involved um, you can have students um, you know creating accounts getting involved with the vocabulary learning and then you can see here how individuals are faring or you know competing against each other how many points they've accumulated and you have here um, another list of the words mastered okay so how many words are mastered and how many points they've earned okay and so this if the vocabulary bowl that's the one where it's school wide if you click on vocabulary bowl you'll see here that Bel Air High School is in the lead and then of course like I mentioned you have the the rankings you can definitely get your school involved and get that positive competitive spirit going at your campus okay um, the blog again you have you've got this this is access also from the home page but here you have more topics um, more titles that might be interesting to you you have also other blogs archived okay here are a list of topics you could access quickly okay and the vocabulary list let me talk to you guys about that vocabulary lists are awesome okay let's say you're gonna create a vocabulary list of a unit for your students okay scientific method for example let's say I was thinking of making a list for vocabulary uh, I'm sorry, I was thinking of making a vocabulary list for scientific method, but I want to check first if maybe there's already one there that I could just use. So I'm going to go to search for vocabulary lists. So I'm going to go to search, type in scientific method, I'm going to search it, and if I scroll down to the bottom, I'm going to see that there are several lists for scientific method. So here we've got this one list here, it has 12 words on it, and I can actually see the words that are on the list here in this second list I have four words those are the four words uh, my third fourth and then if you go on you can actually you know check out the list for yourself see which words are there you know decide if it's going to be appropriate for the group that you're working with let's say you don't find anything that's very suiting for your students you can always go and create your own list so create a new list you can create the words one at a time all at once or you can actually pull them from a text Okay, one at a time is the most basic, I guess, simplest way to do it. So you would type in the word here, and it has predictive text. So as you're typing in hypothesis, for example, it'll start pulling up the possible words. And so hypothesis is there, and it gives you a definition. Let's say this is not one that would be, I guess, appropriate for your group. Then you could actually go to choose definition maybe choose one that is more uh, I guess better suited for the group that you are working with um, you could add example sentences or type your own okay you could also add notes if you want to give hints to your students okay um, so that's how you would enter in the vocabulary word so you would add notes example sentence create your own or browse sentences which is what I which I find is um, very handy because for teachers who might not have a lot of time to spend on creating lists, they can quickly, you know, look to see what's what is something that would be good for their for the students, and then they can choose one and add that really quickly in there. Okay, so once you have that see there, you continue adding your list, then you save your list. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, you must add a title. Definitely, so scientific method is in there. You can add a description there. You can make it shared or private as well. Okay, so save your list. Okay, that you have your list. Now, when you have your list, you're going to, you should have more than one word. You could have the students do practice, and it'll offer it multiple choice. Okay, and again, it's checking their, it's gauging their assessment. It's checking to see if they are learning the word, the mastery. Here, they can get a hint. They can get the definition if they need it. Okay, um, here you can do a spelling bee fe feature, which is really nice because it'll help the students with the spelling it'll play the word for them hypothesis and then they'll have to attempt a spelling here and then they will check to see if they got it correct or not this is the one an edit uh, link is where you would go in to either add vocabulary words 
or to delete any uh, with the X here you would add some below here or let's say you wanted to add a different note or a different example let's say you you notice that students weren't really responding to your sample sentence you can definitely come in here and change that okay so that is a vocabulary list again a very handy tool because some of them are already pre-made for you by other educators and you can always make your own list as well okay so here on this tab you have the dictionary which again has it's, it is claimed to be the world's smartest and fastest dictionary so again it's a predictive text feature that makes it super fast um, you can start typing your word and as you can see here you start getting that list hypothesis you have the sound feature okay it will read the word to you um, it'll have their a very detailed explanation and it gives you different ways to use the word lots of sentence exam usage examples over here on the right okay and so um, it's it's great because you can just type that in you could do an advanced search if you wanted to okay you could look for the noun the verb the adjective the adverb synonyms antonyms uh, the syllable range what does it rhyme with so this would be also pretty fun I guess if you're looking for something if for a poetry or a rhyming kind of activity you could definitely type in a word that rhymes with and you know see what you get um, so let's see here that would be the advanced search feature um, and then let me go back okay um, then then of course you would go back to the list builder here it is okay you could go ahead and add words to your to your list you know we had created that list for scientific method let's say I wanted to add this one I would go ahead and create or add it to my list okay all right so tr the uh, random word is just for fun you could just you know if you have some time you want to learn new vocabulary just hit random word so again back to the challenge this is again what you see at the home page by um, going through these words you can test your knowledge and you can continue practicing and improving your vocabulary skills and check your progress which is what I really like also because that's important for teachers to check pr student progress um, and so this is the vocabulary.com website just a basic overview um, I really enjoy it especially for my students who are you know second uh, they're learning English as a second language it would be really great for them to get their hands on on this program because it will definitely improve their vocabulary their academic vocabulary um, for the reading the writing and speaking and so uh, take some time go to vocabulary.com and see how you can use it with your students in your classroom thank you